Um, I've never done this before, and I don't think anyone's going to watch it. You gotta give it some time, but like we're gonna give it some time. Oh. It's Tuesday. Hi, Melissa. So it's Tuesday night. This is hello, polar bear Austin. It's Tuesday night. We just finished. This is this is um the first night after the um. He's gonna just keep singing. This is um this is our last week of the show, and you know what? It's Tuesday night. It's an early night. The show gets out early. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of young people watching me drinking a beer at a bar. But yeah. you can't do this until you're 21. Don't this do is uh, 21. this is Grace's fiance. This is yeah. This is my fiance, Christopher Ryan Grant. How's it going, kids? This is really exciting. And you guys, this is Scott Stangland. You know him. You know him. He's the most famous of anyone I've ever met. Cheers. Cheers I mean, to that. Look at this. Hold on. Go back to his camera. Okay. Look at this. That's like some Tormund Hellsbound shit right there, whatever his name is. is Tormund Tormin Kingsbane. Tormund Kingsbane. Who's that? Is that is that Lothar? No, that's no, it's the, I know, but that's what I call that character is Lothar. Yeah, you call him Lothar. It's Tormund Kingsbane. It's hey, really good. I was a, I, okay. God, Scott, I said awesome. for me, we're this? awesome. That's right, Polar Barrel, Steve. I don't those know. are for me. I think I don't know what those are, but they're. They're a bunch of hearts, and they were for Chris because you're you. absolutely right. He's very handsome. Yeah. Has a jawline. Standing up to cram homework in has its perks when Chris goes live. You, I mean, if you, I don't know what you're studying for, but ask me. Like, I could probably help you. I'm what pretty are all smart. What these hearts floating up on the side? People are loving it. They that's what it is. Um, that's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Mike. Mike, what are you doing? But Mike, Mike, what are you doing? Guys, um, we're having a wonderful time here at a, at a place in an, in an undisclosed location somewhere in New York City. I just want to say somebody, somebody did quote this. They said, going to drink tonight. I know they did, and you're absolutely right. Gonna we drink are going to drink tonight. Unless you're underage. Unless you're not 21, you it's are not drinking tonight. You are not going to drink tonight. You are tonight. studying for your exams. It's irresponsible. Thank it's, you. But is it Study. school yet, you guys? I'm sorry I missed you at the stage door. It was raining, and then they took down the barriers too soon. I came out, but then no one was there. I can came I, out, no one was there. I'm sorry. Can I say this? Can I say this? I've been on Broadway, so you're looking at three Broadway stars right now. That's true. He was in Million Dollar Quartet. Million Dollar Quartet. Did Study. you guys see that? Study. Because this dude was in it. Go to school. I have to learn study. the entire periodic table. You really want to help with that? I do. Chris, you're probably good at the I can do this. Table. What do you need? Element 21 is selenium. What else? How do you know that? Christopher, how do you know that that is in the periodic table? Because I memorized the periodic table. Yes, I'll be on Saturday. Um, I know, Undo Troika, I know I was on vacation when you saw me. I was in Hawaii. I was in Hawaii with Christopher. I was on vacation. I'm so sorry I missed you. (laughs) You guys Um, are great. Will I come to Los Angeles and sing? No. Um, I pro- probably. No, she won't. I mean, I'm from Orange County, so I'll probably go. She won't. Any tips for an aspiring actress? Don't stay study. out. Study. Study. Don't go stay out late and hit drink with these guys. Stop this drinking. I feel like we're I'm corrupting some people. I'm serious. Um, I'm not. Everything I've said is the truth. Stop drinking. Study. Go to school. But what about the periodic table? He's leaving. We're, you, well, you want to help people study and you're not helping. What do you want? Study the noble gases. Those are the most important ones. What are the noble gases, please? Uh, well, the, 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 look under your chart. It's right there. <laughs> you knew how to help. Element 21 is scandium. It's scandium, Chris. Oh, selonium? I'm sorry. It's not scandium. Not selonium. Scandium. I got the you perfect. can't. They already told you. They already cool. fixed it. You just got school. If I could play any one of the great comic who would I play? I gotta tell you right now, that's a good question. If I could play any one of the great comic. Um, I, here's the thing, Scott. Did you know that... Joel and Shannon in this? Yes, eventually. But I'm gonna answer this question. Um, uh, preparations is my jam. I 
love that song. It is so funky. I did go to OSHA. Um, I was just telling some people today uh, earlier that Don't Look Up is like the most undersung. Chokesy is one of the most undersung principal cast members. Yeah, he's doing amazing and work. Preparations is one of my favorite. Preparations things. is a jam, and it's a patter song. He's fitting all so much information. I mean, it's crazy. And and it's the best piano part to play. I thought I was. I bet it is. It's a jam. Um, I will tell you guys this, and I probably shouldn't because I feel like I'm doing that. What happened? Scott said he has nightmares about singing. I did. I did have a nightmare. Did you have a nightmare about Yeah, because you can't start over. If you get lost, you're done. I will tell you something though. When we were in the tent and Nick Belton was the understudy for both Andre and Dolikov, and he went on for like a while for Dolikov, he did get lost. In <laughs> but Lucas Steele, that he didn't give a shit. Lucas Steele was right back. On, Nick Belton was like, ah, oh, I don't know, and it was like weird. But then Lucas was like, I know where we are. I know where we are because Lucas does it all the time. And it was a hard song. You didn't know. Um, I will stay door on Sunday. It's our last show. It's our last show. Everybody's gonna stay door. I swear to be like you guys. Poor Nick B. Don't feel bad for Nick. No, don't feel bad for Nick he's B. Fine. Yeah, he's okay. Is it Grace McLean and them apples or Grace McLean? I'm gonna tell you right now. This is a good question. I prefer the ampersand for the and them apples. I prefer it. You can write however you want, but. I'm gonna do that. You saw me with the that's so nice. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Who are you and why are you saying troll. that? That's troll. So what up, troll? troll? <laughs> what up, Troll? What up, Troll? How's that? Awesome. What's it like under the uh, bridge, Troll? Uh, should you read War and Peace? Yes. Scott, have you read War and Peace? I've read our part, our, our sliver of the show I've read. Should Scott Stanton read all of War and Peace? Uh, and I will. I, I will when we close. And I have time. When we close. Dude, you can, you can do it though. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, Scott. So I first read War and Peace in 2005 when I was studying abroad and I wanted some summer reading and it was good. Scott, read it. Everyone wants you to read it. And then I read it for the second time when we were doing the show in the tent. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Yo, she's read it twice. All right, twice. And I want to read it again, but I haven't yet. I'm doing it. I'll read it. I'll uh, read it. But I read it, Scott. So you know how you... Uh, this is... A, we're on my phone right now. So there's a Kindle on your phone. <laughs> Scott loves this. There's a Kindle on your phone, and um, I read War and Peace on the Kindle on my telephone. Don't do that. Like, read the book. Because it's nice to, like, have the weight in your hand, but... Have, but I read it so fast. I read it in like a month because this it's so slow. You just go. I don't mean it's so slow. I mean the pages are like this big, and you just and you scroll through them, and you don't have to carry that tom around. It might be a good idea to get on the subway before bed. Someone's from Egypt. That's awesome. Bench press. What's happening in here? I just, I wasn't paying attention and now there's a lot happening. Will it tour? I don't know. Don't do that, Grace. Cool. I'm just reading these things now. Uh, it's not more important than your math homework. Why are you in school right now? Has school started already? Yes. Yeah, back really? to school. Yeah. I'm from I'm from Costa Mesa in California. Um, How are you real? I just she is she's just real I'm she's right a real person. Here. Can you take over my story, please? Uh, she's probably, she's probably, I'm not that good at that. You're probably gonna take over. Uh, you know who was good at that was Scott Stanton. You had a great story. No. You want some advice? Yes. Get, get off your goddamn phone and go outside and climb a tree. No, yeah, it's too late dude. to cry. I'm serious. Get also, Element 21 is scandium. Please don't climb a tree at this hour. Don't climb a tree this hour is exactly right. Um, Go home. <laughs> to Amanda My favorite, favorite, favorite song of yours to perform. My favorite song of mine? Oh, well right now it's it's a song called Christopher Coy. <sighs> Right now, my favorite song. Performance. This is my favorite. I think one more time. 
<laughs> it's um, it's a song called "Where's the White Light." It's about dying. No, in the show. I don't understand. That's what they're asking. Like her favorite song. Hi, Joel. Hi, Joel. <laughs> Joel doesn't want to be in the show. All right. You don't want to know about the rest of my life? That's cool. What's your favorite song from the show? I'm sorry. How old? Which is Jesse? Is that going to be? It's never going to be really. Um, my favorite song from the show? Is that what is it? To perform? In my house. The whole show changes in that moment. It's a wonderful time. Uh, hi, Joel. Thanks. Chile? All right, since you all got homework, uh, we're going to get going. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the wave song. Yeah, that was fun. I know I've seen what I'm doing. Where are you? Um, Scott's saying goodbye, and he's probably right. It's late, guys. Go to bed. we got a big day tomorrow on two shows. And you know what? We're being filmed for Lincoln Center, for the Lincoln Center archives tomorrow. And you know how cool that is? Like You can check it out. If you go to the Lincoln Center you library, you can watch the show. You know what's so great is, for me, is that I'm going to get to watch the show. I've never gotten to watch the show. But tomorrow, no, we're putting reality right now. And then we're going to film the show, and then one day in maybe a year or two, I'll go and watch it. Anyway, you're going to be the last two-show day. I'm so excited for you. Good night. Thank you for watching. Why are you watching? And also, hey, Elizabeth, how are you? It's my cousin. Um, I can watch it. No, Lizzie, I can watch it, I think, three times, but I'm probably only going to watch it once. Um, we love, we love you guys. We love you. Oh, there's some like oh, mm -hmm. Thank you for the package that you sent to the theater. I just want to show you, my friends. Don't Go do outside. that. Don't do that. Go outside. I I apologize for my fiance. Thanks for watching. Don't go outside. It's nighttime. Just finish your homework. Good night. How do I end?